In this video I'll show you how to rename files on your Android phone. If you have a file that you want to send somewhere or you want to save the file, if it's an important file, a picture or a document, you might want to give it a special name. You, could, you might want to put the date in the file name or a name of what it is in the file so you can easily search for it later if you send it by email to find it in your emails or in your files. It's always a good idea to give meaningful names to files, especially files that are important for you. To rename files, you need a file manager app and I use the files by Google app, but you can use any file manager app, any app will work. And I have here the files by Google app and here I have the recent and then the categories, different combination of files. For example, here for images, I could see and I could rename the files directly from here. So I have the menu option for each file. I can, for one file here, I can tap on the three dot menu I can tap on the picture and view it, but I can also tap on this three dot menu here. And here I have the option to rename the file and I can give it a, yeah. And also use this kind of handle on the file. You can select the whole file, but you have to be careful not to remove whatever is after dot here. So at the end, there is the extension, the file extension. You don't want to remove the file extension but I could call it screenshot two. And now this file is screenshot two. The file name now is screenshot two and I could rename another one. It's very easy to get used to it. And also this handle, it's actually pretty, pretty comfortable. I could rename the file, remove the screenshot, call it test image, something like this and okay and now it's called test image and you can you can rename these files not only from the categories view here you can also go into the internal storage in case you want to see the files exactly how they look like in the folders you can go in the internal storage here you might find files that are downloaded if it's downloaded files you will go into the downloads folder if it's documents you will find it them in the documents folder and if it's pictures or screenshots, you'll find them in the DCIM folder. Open the DCIM folder, or I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Here you might have folders. I created folders here. You can do a lot of things. I can rename folders also. A folder can also be renamed. So I can rename this folder to something else if I wanted to. And for the screenshots I had before, yeah, actually the, actually the screenshots are in the Actually, the screenshots are in the pictures folder. So pictures and screenshots here in the pictures folder or DCIM folder, depending on the phone. In the screenshots folder here, I can do the same thing. I can tap on the picture and choose the option to rename. The rename option is always there, the same like before. So you can give it something, screenshot three. Let's call it screenshot three. It might be easier to see the folders of the pictures when you are in the in the all storage mode, but actually it's much easier to see the pictures, the screenshots from the recent images, especially that here you will see combined images with screenshots and everything. For documents, you will need to use the internal storage mode where you navigate to the folder and you rename the folder directly. Here I could see the documents folder and I could rename this folder, for example, I could rename it to something else and the folder is renamed and I could also rename it back to how it was. And here, this is the file. This is a file that I could try to rename now. And I tap on this three dot menu, then choose rename and I could give it a, add something to it. You should not remove whatever is after the dot, the last three letters or four letters and the dot before. This is the file extension and you really don't want to change that because that will make the file unusable. But if you do rename the file by mistake to something that's different, you also get a warning about it. But now, now the file is unreadable. I can't open the file, but there is an easy way to fix that. You can rename it back especially if you know what kind of file it is. 
if you know what kind of file it is, you can always open it again. That's it. Thanks for watching.